Hey everyone, my name is Avi. Today I'm going to be showing you what I feel are the 8 most important tips to know in Tarkov. And unlike other videos that have 101 tips and 95 of them are useless, you will actually use these in game and you will see a difference. Starting off, we have healing animation cancelling. As a demonstration, I'll be using a grizzly, but it works with any healing item. So say you're injured and you want to heal. If you take out the grizzly and uh, go through the whole animation, it takes approximately 25 years to complete it. And every healing item has a part of the animation like this at the end where it just does nothing. For the grizzly it's a bit different because it actually heals fractures and stuff, but normal healing items waste that time at the end. So what you can do is look on the top left when you're healing, and when you see the part of your body go green, you just hold left click and cancel the rest of the animation. Then you can start another one and heal another part of the body and cancel that one as well. Here's a comparison between the normal way to heal and the animation cancelling way to heal. And for tip one and a half, I guess, if you're ever healing and you want to get behind cover, but you don't want to get stuck like this in the open while being slowed down by the healing, there's actually a way to prevent that. If you jump right before it starts slowing you down, you can actually get behind cover with a bit of a jump boost. Tip number two is reloading animation cancelling. Let's say you're fighting someone and you're low on bullets, you're bleeding, you need healing on your thorax and stuff, but you don't know whether to reload first and risk him pushing you or to heal and risk the same. What you can do is if you have any healing item or stim or whatever puts you in an animation, you can use that and if you right click on your magazine and click install, well normally it installs that magazine and reloads your gun putting you in that animation. But, if you're already in an animation, when you right click that magazine and click install, it's actually going to put it in instantly. Then, if you also combine it with the animation cancel you already learned, you get your weapon reloaded while having a fast animation to heal your thorax. The best way to use this is with a stim like the ETG or the Propital, where you're going to get a heal over time and you're going to reload at the same time. On to tip number three. Usually when people encounter railings like these, they jump over them and get to the other side like this. And after that, you can see you're left with about a fourth of the stamina left. The better way to do this is actually just to run over them. Sometimes it might slow you down a little bit before lighting you through, but overall you're going to save a lot of stamina, and if someone's shooting at you afterwards, you're going to be able to get further away. For some of them, it might actually look like it's not going to let you over them, but for 99% of these railings on any map, with the way they're made, the height doesn't really matter. And on to tip number 4. Everyone knows you can reload, I hope. But there's actually a second reload, the emergency if you double tap R by default. This drops your magazine on the floor, but reloads a bit faster. But there's a catch. Having this on the same button as your normal reload actually puts a delay on the normal reload because it's waiting for 0.33 seconds to check if you're gonna double tap the R button. Try it out in game and once you notice the delay you're not gonna be able to unsee it. The way to fix this is go over to settings, go over to controls and try to find emergency weapon reload. Then make sure the key that it's bound to is not the same key that you have on your normal reload. I personally have it bound to some random key because I feel like it doesn't actually really save that much time and I don't want to be losing my mags. There you go, your weapon reload is without a delay. For tip number 5, I think everyone at least once has gotten a little bit confused on what buttons to press when their weapon jams. You're in the middle of a firefight and you don't know which combination of ALT, L, CTRL, SHIFT and T to press to actually start shooting again. The way to fix this is go over to the settings again and again to the controls and try to find check chamber slash fix malfunction. On the second keybind put any key that you want your unjam button to be 
and put it to release. Then a little bit lower, find inspect current weapon, put the second keybind on the same keybind as the other one, and leave it on press. Now, if your gun ever jams again, you just spam click that button and it's gonna unjam. Make sure not to hold the button though, because then you're gonna check the chamber after you're done unjamming it, like shown here. Tip number six has to do with the sound that the weapon makes when you zoom in and zoom out. Everyone's heard it, it's this like clicky or ratchety thing, like there's some bolts loose in the stock or something like that. And it's actually like this on every single weapon. There's nothing we can do about the first zoom in sound, but for the second zoom out sound, there's actually a way to cancel it completely. You can do it by pressing the blind fire overhead keybind, which is I think default to alt plus w. So it puts the weapon above your head with alt plus w, then you release right click and you release alt plus w, and it comes down without making sound. Of course you can do the whole sequence faster, you don't need to wait with the weapon above your head for such a long time. And there is actually a way to do it with the blind fire to the right shoulder keybind, but I don't personally use that one because before it used to be that that one was just client side and everyone could hear the sound anyway. And actually, after doing a bit of testing, it seems that sometimes the scope in and scope out sounds don't actually play but only sometimes, it's still best to learn it and do it even though it sometimes might not work because you might be in a situation where it does and then you might die because of it. For tip number seven, I really want to stress this one. Always leave a little bit of your stamina before you go into the red part. You want to be able to aim whenever you want and hit anything you would ever want if someone ambushes you. You don't want to be running around going into the red part then seeing someone and not be able to aim at them properly and kill them before they kill you. Of course sometimes you have to use that entire sprint and it doesn't really matter but most of the time be wary of it. For tip seven and a half I guess you never want to be sprinting just like a little bit like two steps at a time three steps at a time just because you feel like you have to do something because every time you stop sprinting, there's actually a little bit of a cooldown before you start gaining that stamina back. And if you keep resetting that cooldown over and over again, that's just free stamina that you could have had if you didn't keep sprinting a couple of steps at a time. So if you need to sprint long distances, always wait for the stamina to reach the maximum before you start using it so you don't induce that cooldown. And last but definitely not least is tip number 8. This one is for people that didn't follow tip number 7 and are getting out of the red phase of stamina. Sometimes you're already in the green part and your PMC is still panting. To fix it, zoom in and hold your breath. That should stop all sounds. If you've gotten this far into the video, first of all, thank you so much for watching. The amount of support I've gotten in the past while is actually incredible. The nice comments, the likes on videos, the subscribers. I just want to remind you, if you liked the video and didn't leave a like, comment, and subscribed, please do so as it really helps. And if you didn't like something about the video, also please leave that in a comment so I can improve. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.